Very much that was the song oh thank you thank you yes we have um hello my name is Eva scott and you're very welcome to summer in the city i'm here uh singing in the city in waterford it's absolutely beautiful evening a little bit chilly and the midges are out but uh, i'm here singing with andy meany and uh, we have a very socially distant audience uh clapping away there who are, are being very safe and covid friendly so uh, we're going to sing some songs for you and i'm so delighted to be here we are going to sing song now off my latest album and uh, it's called Ireland's Hour of Need and uh, it was written by a man called Barry Kerr and uh, he wrote this during the time when uh, Ireland were being bailed out by the banks and he uh, was wrote it from the point of view of asking this, the leaders or the, the heroes of 1916 to come back and save us which I think is still relevant today when we all need a bit of saving so um, I hope you like it this is called Ireland's Hour of Need. Come all you gallant heroes, wherever you have been. Offspring of this nation, so few and far between. You who did the fighting when our backs were to the wall. In our hour of need, you'd stand and bleed and rally to her call. In this troubled time upon us, we are once more in your quest. Evil has surrounded us and eaten us with debt. The government 
Like a bag of snakes has poisoned us with greed and sold us off to the IMF for the monster needs a feed. Now these bankers and politicians have no worries like you and me. Fat cats and their pensions live lives so full and free. They've sold their souls for gas and gold. They're coming for you next. Rise up again. Shake off the chains and the news around your head. to have a bit of applause there after a year and a bit of not no applause so it's really nice to be here I really thanks very much <laughs> um, the first time we did a little show and we had six people in our garden I started crying after I heard the first applause so it, it makes such a difference thanks a million uh, we're going to do a song now that um, is a song that changed my life and um, th I'm going to tell you a little story about it um, I come from a family of musicians I have um, a very musical family my mother is a singer and a politician called Frances Black and my well, she's not a politician. She's a senator. I have to always say, because politicians always have the bad term and she's she's great. So, um, And uh, my aunt is a singer called Mary Black and I have lots of cousins who sing as well. And uh, when I was growing up, um, I was very, 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 very shy and you wouldn't believe that. But I was. I couldn't uh, sing in front of anybody and uh, I just hated the idea of having to sing in front of anybody. And in my family, you have to, because my granny had a, a very big stick and um, she poked it, it until we sang. And... Um, I guess I, I kind of went to, uh, as I was growing up and going into school and stuff, my mother always wanted me to sing, but I, I didn't really want to do it. And I ended up doing something completely different in college and then going and getting a real job, as I call it. And uh, I worked in a real job for about 10 years. And um, I tend to got myself into a situation where I'd stopped singing and uh, I got uh, sad. And uh, it's funny when, when you end up working and going to work every day, but you're still really, really sad and you have this very bad depression, but it's just... Uh, functioning and I was one of those people I was functioning going to work I was going to work in the morning 6 o'clock in the morning and then finishing 11 o'clock at night and I was absolutely exhausted and uh, I had stopped singing and I don't know if anybody noticed this but when I'm singing even sad songs I smile <laughs> because uh, it makes me very happy um, but I was in this particular job I was miserable and um, I remember kind of walking down the street Capel Street on my lunch break which is a street in Dublin and it was, of course, a day in mid-June, like today, and it was absolutely hammering rain. And not only hammering rain, but it was coming in sideways. And I was bringing my sandwiches to eat my lunch break, and I was absolutely miserable. I brought jam sandwiches with me. They were scaldy, <laughs> as F, as you would say. And uh, they were just so horrible and miserable. And I was going down to eat them on the, on the boardwalk, feeling miserable. And... Um, Andy here, who is uh, diligently tuning my bazooka, or not bazooka, my Angelelli, <laughs> and bazooki in the brain. Um, he knew I was feeling particularly sad this day. And he said, uh, he, he said, as I was having my lunch break, he, he'd sent me this song. And I was like, I don't really want to listen to it. I eat my jam sandwiches and the seagulls are eyeballing me and I'm feeling miserable and I'm lashing rain. And I said, right, go on, I listen to this song. And as I was eating my jam sandwiches, I listened to it and I pressed play on the iPod or whatever. And... Uh, all of a sudden, in an instant, I heard the music and everything changed. And my heart broke in two. Something just broke within me and uh, it just became a different world altogether. 
And the next morning I woke up and I said, you know what, I'm going to give it all up. I'm going to go and become a singer. And that's why I'm singing in a garden in Waterford today in Summer of the City. Hello, everybody. So we will sing that song for you that I heard that day, uh, Changed My Life. But I'm going to ask you to sing along if that's okay. People in the audience who are COVID friendly, safe. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to sing. I'm going to sing. Uh, it's a song by a man called Bruce Coburn from Canada. And uh, I heard it and it just changed my life. And uh, since then, anytime I ever sing a few songs, I can't not sing it. And then why? Uh, me singing and I ask you to sing it then we all sing it together and it's connection beyond the sky and into the clouds and it's all one of those hippy dippy vibes that I feel so uh, I'm going to sing this song and it's called Wondering Where the Lions Are right? and I'm going to sing and I'm wondering where the lions are and then you would sing wondering where the lions are and then I'm going to sing wondering where the lions are and then you're going to sing wondering where the lions are now I can't hear anybody singing there so I'm going to do it again, right? I'm going to sing. And I'm wondering where the lions are. And then you're going to sing. Wondering where the lions are. Yeah, and by lions, I mean lions as in rar. Like, yeah. Lot lions, T. Like, no, lions. I don't know what this... Anyway, I'm going to ask you to sing. I'm going to ask you to sing get louder as we go. So I hope you like it. This is called Wondering Where the Lions Are. To another day And I'm thinking about eternity Some kind of ecstasy Has got a hold on me I had another dream About the lions at the door They were tough as frightening As they were before But I'm thinking about eternity Some kind of ecstasy Has got a hold Windows, trees, waves coming through you, be in me, and I'll be in you together in eternity. Some kind of ecstasy's got a hold on me. Up among the first words, smelled so deep down in the valleys where the rivers used to be. I got my mind on eternity. Now. And I'm wondering where the lions are. I'm wondering where the lions are. I'm wondering where the lions are. Yeah, it's very quiet. Turn up the volume a little bit. Turn it up a tiny little bit more. Wondering where the lions are. That's it. Wondering where the lions are. Wondering where the lions are. Last time, here we go. Wondering where the lions are. 
And again, one more time. Wondering where the lines are. Wondering where the lines are. Wondering where the lines are. Gorgeous. The best singing audience I've had all week. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're going to do a song off the last album. We uh, released an album in um, 2020. In January of 2020, we were very lucky that we had a launch. We had a gig and uh, then we were in uh, America when it all kicked off and everybody then, you know, went home as everybody did. And um, we were in a, a friend of ours house. We made this album with a, a man called Ron Block from Alison Krauss and Union Station. And uh, we were in his house when we were told we had to come home and uh, everybody got shut down. So we're going to uh, sing, uh, I'm going to sing one of the songs off that album that we made with him. And uh, it's a song I wrote when I was going through a bad patch. Um, I tend to go through bad patches of, of droughts of, or, and not even a drought, but a bad patch of droughts of writing and depression and sadness as everybody does. And uh, this happened about three years ago and um, I was really stuck in a, in a bad place and uh, I wrote this song all about accepting who you are, even though you've got all the mistakes and tangles and all sorts of things that are, uh, you know, part of who you are. If you've, you've made mistakes in the past, it's okay. Um, just accept them, move on and love yourself, as Damo says. So um, I will sing this for you. This is called Tangled.
much. Thanks, William. Okay, so we're going to do a, a song that we wrote during uh, the big L, the big lockdown. And uh, I guess we, we wrote this in, in April, myself and Andy, um, a, a month in. And uh, I was, uh, you know, I took it very hard, <laughs> this little lockdown. I'm sure everybody else did. But uh, taking away our jobs and our, um, I, I always equate it to the oxygen that we breathe. And uh, I think particularly musicians and performers, and people who work in the entertainment industry, um, they really, uh, it's 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 kind of like a a path that they choose. It's not an easy one, and when it's taken away like that, it's really difficult. So um, I I went through a little bit of a bad thing, as everybody else did, who works in our industry and who works in events and music and musicians. And uh, we wrote this song, and we were very hopeful last April that by October things would come back. Um, but the, obviously that didn't happen. So uh, I'm hoping this October 2021 that we'll all be back to work, everybody will be back working, and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll all come back to normal, and yes, all the gigs, and the oxygen will flow, and the money will come back, and everybody won't be worried about their houses and stuff like that. But uh, So I'll sing this for anybody who's uh, been left at home, any musician who feels hard done by, and uh, hopefully by October we'll all be okay. So um, yeah, so I hope you like it. This is called Sweet October. West Clare Rose, where you know defeat the soul. Stop a while where the water meets the stone. Take a breath, you can almost taste the sea. It's a half hour drive down towards Kilkeen. And come, sweet October. All this will come together All the things you'll ever hope for Sunsets in sweet October sky Yesterday, oh I thought I read your mind From Amsterdam and to the Alpine sky all those times you think deserve a smile Come again if you give a little time And come sweet October All this will come together All the things you'll ever hope for Sunsets in sweet October skies won't even mind the rain It'll be a perfect day You give it all and you give more than more The western breeze it always gives you hope Ease your mind for better dreams tonight West Clare Roads in the evening light And come sweet October All this will come together All the things you'll ever hope for Sunsets in sweet October And come sweet October All this will come together All the things you'll ever hope for Sunsets in sweet October skies We won't even mind the rain It'll be a perfect day won't even mind the rain It'll be a perfect day Thanks very much. 
Um, okay, uh, we're going to do a song now by a man um, that I have followed his music for a very long time and I think it's very poignant to sing this at the moment. I sing it... Uh, I've been singing it since since I heard it first when I heard it first on his first album um, and uh, it's a song by a man called Damien Dempsey and I think it's very poignant to sing this at the moment for all the people who are in Palestine who uh, have gone through the wars over uh, the last I don't know 10, 30 years and uh, how hard it's been for them and all the people that have lost their lives so I hope you like this this is called The Colony <laughs> I sing the song of the colony How many years and you're still not free under Mother Christ And you ask God why Greed is the knife and the scars run deep How many races with much reason to weep and your children cry And you ask God why Annie, she came from Dunlavin town The TB came and killed her family all around Population boom Eleven in two rooms Katie, she came from downtown Sensory Ten and a bed and no shoes on their feet 1916 came They played the Patriots game he came from the ivy flats Tenement slums and infested with rats Sleeping on damp straw Trying not to break their laws Thomas, he came from Kilmaine and Mayo Semi-starvation was the only life you know In a two-room shack Then jailed and let her frack I sing the song of the colony How many years and you're still not free And your mother cries And you ask God why Greed is the knife and the scars run deep How many races with much reason to weep And your children cry Oh, and you ask God why I look to the east I look to the west, to the north and the south, and I'm not too impressed. Time after time, after crime after crime, they raped, robbed, pillaged, enslaved, and murdered. Jesus Christ was their God, and they done it in his name so that they could take the blame if it's not all a game. With the Bible in one hand and the sword in the other, they came to purify my land of my Gaelic Irish mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers with their own ancient customs, laws and art a way of life of culture tribal and structure we had a civilization when they were still Neanderthal nations we suffered with the Native Americans the Indian and Asia Aboriginal Australia the African people with their history so deep and our children still weep and our lives are still cheap they came from Germany, from France, from England and from Spain, from Belgium, Holland, Portugal. You've all done much the same. You took what wasn't yours, went against your own Bible. You broke your own laws just to outdo the rival. But did you ever apologize for those hundreds of millions of lives you destroyed and terrorized? Did you ever realize? Did you never feel shame for what was done in your country's name? and find out who's to blame and why it was so inhumane but still they teach you in your schools about those glorious days of rule and how it's your destiny to be superior to me but if you've any kind of mind you'll see that all humankind are the children of this earth and your hate for them will chew you up and spit you out you'll never kill our will to be free to be free You'll never kill 
to be free, to be free. Inside our minds we hold, hold the key. Girl Mug, thanks very much. Okay, thank you so much to Summer in the City for having us. We are going to finish off now with this song. And uh, this is a song that uh, I was off my first album. Uh, it was my only single off my first album because I was too much of a disaster to release any other singles. And uh, I, um, I was very lucky that I got to sing this on the Late Late Show, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I was. And, uh, and my other claim to fame is that Ronan Collins played me as well. So the Ronan Collins is RT1 radio DJ who I think is amazing. My Nana loved him. And because my Nana loved him, when he played me, it made my life. So I'm uh, very lucky uh, that that all happened to me. Um, it uh, hopefully will happen again someday. But I'm going to sing the song that uh, we did with that song. So this is a song uh, myself and my, and my co-writer, Enda Riley, wrote this all about the West Coast of Ireland. And uh, it's all about going to the most beautiful place in the whole wide world which is all along the wild Atlantic way so I hope you like it here we go My name is Eva Scott, and that's Andy Meany. Thanks to Summer in the City. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks. Bye bye.